Alright guys, let's jump right into it. Today I want to show you how I sharpen, or not sharpen, backlap the reels on a Toro machine, which this, this is your Greens Master 3000, but the same concept works for most machines that have the reels and bed knives. Um, over here we have one, as you can see it's been sitting on the shelf, it's a little rusted up. Um, the back lap is not necessarily going to take this rust off here. What we're more concerned about is back lapping these reels here um, to get them to cut paper. Now this one I had already finished. I have another one set up over there that we're getting ready to do. But before we do that, I just want to go over a couple of things now. Because it might get noisy once we start back lapping. Now I did this really horrible picture of a reel here which looks like a really weird shaped watermelon. But this is your reel here, and when we start back lapping it, there's bolts on the left and right side of your of your reel that are going to come into play. That we're going to I'm going to show you once we get over there. Now, a lot of people, when their machine's not cutting right, they want to back lap it, and back lapping is not all that you have to do. There is some adjustments that have to be done. So one of the things is. Before you back lap your reel, when you spin your reel, you should hear some type of contact between the reel and the bed knife. Some type of nice metal contact when you're spinning that. And what happens is before you back lap it, you can't just throw your compound on here and back lap it and think that it's going to cut. So what you want to do is, so a lot of times, so this really crooked line here is my bed knife on the bottom here. but. What happens is when you're back lapping, if your reel, and you can see it kind of tapers off here, I'm, I'm sorry, not your reel, your bed knife, you may have good contact on this side, but this side might just be down a little bit, which means you would have to adjust your bolts here. Now your top bolt is gonna tighten the bed knife, your bottom bolt on each side is gonna loosen the bed knife. And when you adjust these, you need to turn these in just really small quarter inch turns. Because you have, you can see up on the screen here, let me uh, pull it up. We have, you can see, there's not much space between that reel and that bed knife. So if you turn those bolts too much, this reel's not even going to spin at all. They have to be turned really, really in small increments. Alright? So, you also have your bed knife screws. You want to take a look at them, make sure they're all tight all the way across. Because if this side comes loose, it may cause this to come down a little bit. I mean, this is a little bit drastic of a bend, but it's just a pretty crappy drawing. Um, but check all your bed knife screws, make sure they're all there. And another thing that you can do is just kind of like watch the bed knife as you spin it. Like, we'll come over here. Sometimes you can see if it's making the contact or not. Now this bed knife's a little bit worn. You can see it's digging in there, but it's still cutting pretty nice. Now you can see, let's see if I can get a better view here. That's pretty much right on the knife there, because this one's already done. And that one's right on the knife there. Now listen to this sound. You hear the contact? That's what you want to hear in your reel. All right, but you want to make sure that that contact sound is coming from all the way across the reel, not just from one side, which is what happens a lot on these machines. All right, so when I back lap them, let's go over here. I have this hooked up to a back lapping machine. Now you can use a battery power drill or whatever with an attachment and plug it right into the side there. But I have a back lapping machine from R&R &R, and the compound I use is Lesco sharpening compound all right so here's the reel that we're gonna do um, and I'll show you where on the back side here there's your top bolt and there is your bed knife that it's pushing on and you have your bottom bolt which if you were to tighten this bolt it's gonna push up on this which will drop your bed knife down away from the reel and if you tighten the top bolt it's going to put pressure on this bed knife and lift it up towards the reel. And again, you have them on 
each side and they each have if you do an adjustment on one side most likely you're gonna have to do the same adjustment same turn on the other side but not always sometimes it's just one side that needs to be adjusted but to find out I usually do it all by ear all right so before we get started and it gets noisy when I turn this back lapper on what I'll do is I'll take some of that compound <coughs> take a little bit of compound and I'll put just a drop on this side and I will hear the grinding which would be the compound in between the bed knife and the reel if I don't hear that that means this side I need to loosen the bottom bolt so that I can tighten the top bolt all right we need to bring that bed knife closer to that reel now if I do hear it I will take another drop put it on this side and see if I hear the noise change which would be the contact between the reel and the bed knife and the sand compound in between it so you want to make sure you're hearing that noise with just little drops right away if you're not hearing it on one side that means you already know which side that bed knife is tapering down on and you want to adjust it all right so we're gonna turn this on it's probably gonna get noisy but you'll see how I back lap them so you want to make sure your, the reel is spinning backwards. All right. So right away, right away, you can already hear we have a noise that goes in and out, which is telling me that one side of this is making contact, the other is not. You want to hear that noise consistent. All right. So we're going to do our little test here. Get a little bit of putty. And we'll just put it a drop on this one side. Now, you hear the noise just change, which is saying that that side is pretty close to the bed knife and doesn't need much adjustment. Now we do the other side and just listen for the noise change. All right, so now that noise is consistent all the way across. That's telling me that the bed knife, for the most part, is okay. So we can go ahead and compound the whole thing now. So we get a little bit more on here. And we're just gonna go from left to right. Now that's a pretty good sound right there. That's, you don't hear any intermittent sound. That means you have good contact all the way across. And when we go to do our paper cut, we won't have to do much adjustment. Now, if it was quiet on the one side, if it was quiet on the one side, what I would do normally, I normally do it while it's running so that I can hear it. I would leave it running. I would, you don't want to wear any loose clothing either because this reel will cut you. This is just the way that I do it. The safe way is to shut it off this side wasn't making any noise you would loosen your bottom bolt down here and you would turn it where's our bottom bolt right there you turn it to the right just a quarter of a turn and then the top bolt you would turn to the right to tighten it a quarter of a turn and that'll bring your bed knife up closer on that side if it needed to come closer let's continue back lapping You want to let that run for about maybe two or three minutes is what I do and you'll hear the noise start to get a little bit more faint that's when you know you add you need to add a little bit more compound and I usually do it eh, about four times so every two minutes I'll put it on which is about eight to ten minutes of back lapping. all right so when you're done this is what it's gonna look like with all your compound on the reels and you want to make sure that you wash all of that off very good so you when you run the hose you can just use your foot and spin the reel wash it off spin the reel wash it off and then before you go trying to cut paper with it 
before we go to the next step, definitely want to make sure that you dry the reels. Um, otherwise, you're not going to get proper cut with these reels being wet. So I usually just take my air line or the air, little air chuck on it and just blow them off. All right, so just get yourself a piece of paper and um, try to do the first cut. I don't know how to do this without my... Uh, need both hands kind of here. Let me see if I can do this. Well, let's just, let's see. I'm trying to hold the camera here. See if we can get a cut. Okay, that side cut. Now we gotta go to the center. See if I can hold this camera here. This center cut. Check it. All right, our center started to cut, but it left a little bit on there. Which is my guess is, which means this side's probably not gonna cut. Let's try to hold this camera up here. Get my finger out of the way. Put this paper in there at the same time. All right, here we go. So we'll try to cut this side. And as expected, that didn't cut. So we have to tighten down this right side. Gonna just loosen this one, quarter turn, top one, down, quarter turn. And we'll see if that side's cutting now. Put our piece in there. Set it up there, spin. And there it is. So now we have a perfect cut all the way across. So the next step would be to set the height of cut. All right, so for your height of cut, you're gonna to wanna to loosen this bolt and one on the other side to loosen that bolt so that you can turn these knobs, which will allow this to move up and down to the height that you desire. I am using a digital gauge by r and r and this is a T-mower, so I wanna set my height of cut to 410. So you're measuring from here to your bed knife. Make sure you loosen these bolts up so that you can turn this either this way or turn it this way to get the height that you desire. We want to put our gauge on the back of the bed reel here and down and we are at 398. So we want to loosen this, we're going to adjust this and raise that to 410. This is a half inch here. so. We're going to put this on, and lefty loosey. There we go, and you don't need to take it all the way out. Just loosen it enough. And these sometimes are going to be really tight to turn, which it is. So you want to get pliers. You want to turn this to the right, to 406, 408. 410 and then we can go ahead and tighten that one back up take it off we're gonna go to the other side to reset our gauge here all right put this on the bed knife make sure that it is seated on the bed knife in the back there and this one is at 408 so this one isn't too far off um, so this one I already had loosened, so we're going to turn this and that's it, 410. So you go ahead and tighten that and this reel is ready to go.